9 o'clock in the evening here now. It's settled down already. This bed may, might be ready tomorrow. In just two days. But it's gonna get three as tradition. Yes, this is 26 hours in. So it seems actually to be mostly fermented now. Kjetil Iljarus brought some alder wood for next brewing. Red fine alder wood. Here you see chip, the color of Orreve. All the wood has been laying out in the rain today. This was quite Sunday, twelve thirty in the day. Now it's Monday. 1900 in the evening, 7 o'clock. Yep, gravity check. Half 10 in the evening. 1 Monday. Seems quiet. Here comes the gravity check with a yep. Yep, the time is 12.52, second day. Opskok should be tomorrow. Yep, still Tuesday. Time is 19.32. I think the old guys would already started on this. <laughs> now I'm at the neighbor farm, Grindalan. This is the old grain dryer or mold dryer. Chip has also filmed this one. You will see it in another film. Here you see where we get the brew water from, the Selan River, up there is the old grain mill, which Chip will show you in a later movie. Today is day three, still low night temperatures, but the beer seems to have fermented well, so Today it's Opskoko. Yeah. 19.30 in the evening, day three. And we start with the skok. Let's see. I start to rinse the avsa a little bit in the Uniper infused water and then let's get over to the yield. Now time for testing. The first sip. Chip wanted some taste notes and it's pretty hard with filming with one hand and talking for 30 seconds so I'll do a few tries. 
the brew is still a bit bitter. I used some uh, nuggets and some uh, Hallandra Mittelfru and uh, the nugget uh, by my standards was a little too much. I used 100 gram of nugget and 200 gram of Mittelfrau and the grain bill is 5.5 kilo of oats and 25 kilo of base pale ale malt if you wonder. This brew is uh, just three days old from start of fermenting so it has a potential to maybe mellow down on the hop pit and I do another video in a day. And I should also mention that this is a eastern style brew but with a local quake head from the western area around Voss. So it's uh, much potential left. And the grain bill is also representative for this area. So I have to get some more help from Ivar Hustad and check out if we can find the grain bill for beer in the eastern areas. I know that Chip has got a new book about old style brewing traditions. Uh, if you want to ask questions about what I'm doing, so t ask Chip and he will take them to me. Yeah, I almost forgot, but I did a, a alcohol check. It has fermented down to 1018 from 1020 yesterday. So it's about there. Little shot with the beer outside. You can see it's not too clear. It's a raw ale. So, and it's very fresh, just three days old. So, this is just fine. Yeah, no forget to smack. Skull. Mm, yeah. Friday, uh, last taste before Chip is going to publish the video. It's a little more settled, still foggy, a little too bitter, but in a week or two, yeah. Yeah, the hop is overpowering the quack a bit, but it's getting there. Quite nice brew. Skull.